Good evening, everyone. This is the docking of the Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station. We are just an hour away from Crew-1 docking, and they have their suits on. Dragon 2 is just an hour away from docking. They're within one mile of the International Space Station and they're coming in fast. And you can see Baby Yoda floating around in there. Station Houston, expect to start monitoring Dragon in approximately 25 minutes. Baby Yoda is floating around in there. 25 minutes, thank you. That is an image of the International Space Station. If you can barely make it out, you see the solar arrays? It's really blurry. And the there's Dragon there. <laughs> flying right over wow. the Earth. Amazing views. Obviously, what a the shot. Space Station is wow. in an orbital nighttime. And um, soon, in just the next few minutes, we should see them crossing that Terminator line into orbital daytime. But they're looking down right now, Space Station 262 statute miles over Earth. As Space Station and Dragon fly over Tanzania. Wow. Such a cool view. And as a reminder, we do have the nose cone still attached to Dragon on this version of Dragon. Whereas previously, our, our cargo dragon, uh, we actually deployed that nose cone. So now that we keep the nose cone attached, and this helps with uh, reusability efforts so that we don't have to make a new one, don't have to install a new one when a uh, dragon returns. As we saw earlier, the crew is inside Crew Dragon, suited up in their seats, strapped in. And they will be arriving at waypoint zero and it looks like about seven minutes. Quickly. They are moving uh, quickly. You can see Dragon uh, in view. You can see how fast it is moving against uh, the background of Earth there. And Dragon is approaching station now at half a meter per second. A bit slower than we were seeing earlier, but that's because we are so much closer to station now. We have to make every single maneuver very fine-tuned, very deliberate. You'll start to see things get brighter, as we mentioned, as Space Station and Crew Dragon enter an orbital daytime. You'll be able to see Beautiful. a little bit of the ocean below, and then eventually, uh, in just a few minutes, both the vehicles will be flying over Madagascar. Only about five, four minutes away now from uh, the arrival at waypoint zero, 400 meters away from the International Space Station. And we're just under 500 meters away, so once we get to waypoint zero, we will be 400 meters away. Basically, we'll just be passing through waypoint zero, through that 400-meter uh, point, and going, uh, continuing on. The next hold point would be waypoint one. That is 220 meters away. They'll need to go to move inside the keep-out sphere, a 200-meter radius, an invisible line around the International Space Station. This is the same for every vehicle that arrives and departs the station. We wow. make sure that it is a go to move inside. And this means if Dragon were to lose control of its thrusters for some reason, it would be four orbit safe or six hours before it crossed into that 200 meter radius, the keep out sphere. So if everything looks good, Crew Dragon can move through waypoint one and up to waypoint two, which will put us only 20 meters away from the International Space Station. Crew Dragon Just right now. Just as a reminder, now. the crew is suited up and they did perform leak checks just as they did when they got suited up and ingressed the vehicle uh, prior to liftoff. They're yesterday. flying over Madagascar right now. 
and just a little look back at what brought us to this point if you're just joining us. Crew Dragon lifted off yesterday on a Falcon 9 rocket at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time from Kennedy Space Center, beginning their journey to the International Space Station. They completed their first burn last night, the phase burn, and then got a good night's sleep. Uh, they had a phase adjust burn this morning, added in there by Dragon's computers to make sure it was on the right trajectory to the space station, and then had the boost burn at 8.22 a.m. Pacific time. About 45 minutes later, we saw the closed co-elliptic burn. That maintained an orbit roughly 10 kilometers below station for Dragon. We had a short out-of-plane burn. Another one added in by the Dragon CPU computer system. We moved on to the transfer burn and then the final co-elliptic burn. Those rounded out our five major burns as part of the rendezvous phase for Crew Dragon. You see Once we light? reached the 30 meter, 30 kilometer distance from station, we were out of that rendezvous point then moved into the approach phase. That puts us at the approach out of plane burn, another short burn at the Dragon computers executed. We moved into approach and docking and we saw that approach initiation burn take place at 6.22 p.m. Pacific time. We also had a short mid-course maneuver. I think their video is blurry. And now we're just under a minute to waypoint zero. And as you notice, there's Baby Yoda waiting patiently, floating around in there with them as they approach the International Space Station today. Less than a quarter of a mile away from the International Space Station now. Amazing that we're getting these views inside the cabin during these dynamic operations. Beautiful. That's really cool to see that side by side crew inside of the vehicle and then the shot of the dragon capsule so close to the international space station so beautiful zero three three four utc arrival at waypoint one good burn and we've converged on waypoint one So we've now passed waypoint zero. We're just a little under 24 minutes away from waypoint one, which means we are inside of that 400 meters from station. Should reach waypoint one, but we do not have to hold there. That uh, waypoint one is approximately 220 meters away from the station and Dragon would be directly in front of the no two forward port, its docking port. And if everything checks out, we can move through waypoint one. We'll have to have the go to move inside the keep out sphere, a 200 meter invisible line uh, radius around the International Space Station. And that go confirms that uh, if we were to lose control of Dragon's thrusters for any reason, we would be four orbits or about six hours safe from moving inside that keep out sphere. So we'll need that go uh, for us to pass through waypoint one. And then the next stop would be waypoint two, about 20 meters from station. And here's another beautiful view of Earth as we get ready to dock this evening. They are in orbital daytime. That is a beautiful, beautiful shot. And there's another beautiful shot of Dragon 2 at the bottom of your screen, getting ready to dock at the station. And it's coming up and lining up on us fast. 
check it out. We've got views of Crew Dragon continuing its approach to the International Space Station. If you just look to the left of the Canada arm there, you can see it uh, continuing its way. It just recently made it through waypoint zero, that 400 meters away or below the station. And uh, we are next going to move through waypoint one. That's 220 meters away, directly in front of the docking port, the node two forward port. That's also where Dragon docked during demo one and demo two. We'll be looking for the go to move inside the keep out sphere, a 200 meter radius. It's an invisible line around the station. It's uh, something that helps our flight controllers monitor vehicles as they approach and even depart the International Space Station. Such a cool view, seeing Dragon with the Canada arm uh, from the station and Earth in the background. And uh, we used to use the Canada arm to capture Dragon uh, before it was uh, configured into into this design, this new Crew Dragon design, and it docks autonomously. But for a lot of our visiting vehicles, we have to use the Canada Arm 2. The astronauts will reach out and grapple a spacecraft or grasp it once it gets close enough. And then flight controllers on the ground will berth it or attach it to the port on the International Space Station. But Dragon is fully autonomous. The astronauts are strapped in their seats, monitoring the mission awaiting the milestones as we uh, move through waypoint one should be coming up in just a couple of minutes and continue our approach to waypoint two 20 meters away from the space station and that last checkpoint before we move in for docking And if you notice, they are getting ready to dock as Baby Yoda floats around inside the Dragon 2 craft. They are ready to be home for the next six months at the International Space Station. Departure of visiting vehicles. This awesome view over the shoulder of our commander and pilot, Mike Hawkins and Victor Glover. Just monitoring the mission. Dragon is flying autonomously. We are about 300 meters away. Closing in on just about one meter per second. So just about 80 meters to go until waypoint one. Amazing. Go ahead and fix that by cycling it from the ground or you can perform that task on the SSC, whichever is your preference. Kate Rubens, who's on the International Space Station, currently the only American on the International Space Station. Uh, she is joined by her two Russian cosmonaut friends. Uh, that is Sergei Ryzhikov and Sergei Kutsverchkov. They'll be welcoming four new crew members to the orbiting laboratory. But she is monitoring the approach of Crew Dragon. She's also not commanding the approach, and as we mentioned, she won't be using the Canada Arm 2 to reach out and grapple the vehicle, but she uh, was working to get some data, and the ground team is going to uh, recycle that data for her, or restart that for her. Minutes away from waypoint one, or under 280 meters away from the station. Birds, that everything is still looking good with the systems, and they will be moving through waypoint one to waypoint two and that they can expect that soft capture ring we were discussing to extend, begin preparing them for docking. we bulkhead thrusters on Dragon there. It's basically those four uh, kind of circles that you see uh, in the ring uh, where the nose cone uh, is open. 
on the top of Dragon there. How awesome is that? <laughs> what an incredible shot of the space station from Krug, Krug, Krug Dragon. Beautiful. How close we are. What a shot. The International Space two, Station. Which will be 20 meters in front of the station. And that's why you can see it so close up in that last view. As we're station two and move into the International Space Station. As a reminder, we moved directly through waypoint one which put us directly in front of the docking port. You can see it right here. That's the Node 2 forward port where Dragon docked during Demo 1 and Demo 2. And there it is. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. The ground is go for approach two. At this point, please confirm that the lighting conditions are acceptable to proceed and let us know if you are go for approach two and docking. And we're on a six minute hold until we get into orbital night And as a reminder, waypoint two is about 20 meters away from station. We There's another beautiful view of the International Space Station. As a reminder, we had a confirmation that the soft capture ring extended. That'll be the first part of capture the soft capture ring. There are also rotary spring dampers that will soften the contact once Dragon's soft capture ring comes in contact with the International Space Station. And then the ring will retract until sensors indicate it'll be time for hooks to drive. We're looking for 12 hooks, two different gangs of six, to firmly secure Dragon to the International Space Station. We are still holding 20 meters away from the International Space Station as we prepare to dock and we're waiting and it on looks orbital like we might be about a minute away nighttime. from sunset so we should be hearing from crew dragon the flash is coming from crew dragon would you like the crew to be able to see this docking even though it's autonomous that helps them monitor where they're at We are currently go on the ground for docking, but we are waiting for the crew to confirm if they are ready. We're we standing are waiting by. for the crew to confirm. Looks to us like uh, we've gone through sunset and we have, we'll get the lights strobing. We can see the target and so we are going to proceed by zero down. We reach the crew hands-off point. That's the chop call we'll hear. Retreat and breakout are not permitted. That would be from the crew. The vehicle can still abort if necessary, but as we said, everything continuing to look good for Crew Dragon. Ready to depart waypoint two. No two. And they're moving in. Kate Rubin standing by on the International Space Station, monitoring their approach. And this should only take approximately five minutes it's not too long and rocket and baby Yoda's ready three minutes from docking Very slow, deliberate, steady movements for Crew Dragon making its way to the International Space Station. We'll be looking for soft capture first with the soft capture ring already extended. Once we have soft capture, the ring will retract. though it looks very slow right now both Dragon and the International Space Station are traveling about 17,500 miles an hour over Earth right now both about 262 statute miles over the planet we 
here just a few moments ago, too, that the crew had reached 10 meters away from the International Space Station, so already halfway there from Waypoint 2. Watching as they approach that node, Port 2. And what you can see directly in the center of the docking adapter, that is the A-pass hatch. Um, once we do do a hard capture um, and do leak checks, that will be the first hatch that will open, followed by the dragon hatch. And if you look closely in the center at the Ready very bottom, chop. there is chalk, crew hands off point, standing by for contact. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture confirmed. And Dragon contact. Copies, and we see the same. They have made contact. As you heard that call out, soft capture is now complete. Next will be hard capture. This is where the pins will insert themselves into that docking adapter and create a hard lock. And we had that soft capture at 8.01 p.m. Pacific Time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern Time. Crew Dragon and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles over Idaho. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture ring retraction in progress. And they are there. They are on the International Space Station right now. That call confirming just what we're looking to hear. The soft capture ring is retracting. We're looking for sensors to indicate it'll be time for hooks to drive, create that firm hold on Crew Dragon. So this can take several minutes, maybe about 10 to 13 minutes. This view over the shoulder of our commander and our pilot, Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover. They are watching this all unfold via these three displays. Woo! They're home. They have made it. Once we do have that hard capture, though, it will take some time uh, before we can open the hatches. Uh, they will perform some leak checks to make sure that it is safe to open both the A-pass hatch and the dragon hatch. Or that it is okay to open the dragon hatch. And in the meantime, Dragon SpaceX, hard capture complete. Hard capture complete. They are home. And there we heard the confirmation that hard capture is complete. Dragon is officially attached to the International Space Station <laughs> after arriving at 8.01 p.m. Pacific Time. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.